So you're looking for a sales training course that's going to help you sell more jewelry. Well, you've found the right place. We're going to cover part number one, which is going to be your morning routine first. But make sure to stay to the end of the video. This way you can hear what part number two is, the steps after your morning routine, getting closer to when you're reaching the actual store itself and putting everything into practice that we're going to cover during this multi-part sales training course for jewelry sales professionals. Now, my name is Levon and this is Crew Gone digital. Uh, in this channel, you're going to, in this channel, I focus on bringing you techniques, skill sets, uh, and personal development tips that are going to help you in the luxury industry. So if you're working in the luxury industry, whether it be with jewelry, luxury brands of any sort as well, consider subscribing to the channel because this channel is full of content and information to help you increase your ability to make more sales, not in decades, not in years, not in months, but right now. So if you are in that position, consider subscribing to the channel as well and clicking that bell icon. That way you'll be notified when the next video is up and ready for you to see. Now, why should you really be listening to me? You have tray after tray of settings to pick. This is the Levian. Get around for a shopping emergency. Well, I was the QVC guy. I was basically the guy that you would see on board cruise ships. If you've ever sailed on a cruise ship before, I was the port and shopping guide. I would have a TV channel talking about all of the different shopping opportunities in the different Caribbean ports that the cruise ships would be stopping at. So if you've been down to that area of the world before, you know I'm mainly talking about luxury. That is what people shop for in these Caribbean ports. Not a magnet, but luxury goods, diamonds, gemstones, luxury watch brands, every name that you see uh, in all of the big cities around the world, you have those down in the Caribbean as well. So that is everything that I was talking about for years. Uh, on top of that, I have the formal qualifications as well. I'm trained by the GIA and also have qualifications through De Beers as well. So all the information you're going to receive in these videos and on this channel is going to be the very best that the industry has available for you. Now that's enough talking about me. Let's get right into it with, with basically an overview of what we're going to be covering in this video. Uh, so step number one as part of your morning routine is going to be waking up 30 minutes early. Step number two, we're going to be talking about a little bit of exercise as well, getting your body moving. Uh, step number three is going to be a cold shower. Now you're probably thinking, what the f is this guy trying to tell me to do? Don't worry, it's going to make sense. Wait till we get to that step. Uh, and then with, of course, there's reading as well, reading or studying. And then number five is all about your goals. So all of these parts is going to be put together to create the perfect morning routine for you to be able to start your day and for you to be able to eventually sell more jewelry to customers in the stores that you're in the store that you're working in uh, as well. So now let's get started. Oh, actually, before we get started, the reason why I wanted to also outline this uh, is like imagine this for a moment. When you're waking up in the morning, uh, if you were a captain of a cruise ship, I'm going to use a lot of cruise ship analogies on this channel because I worked on cruise ships for so long. Uh, so imagine that you're a captain, you left the port, you're driving the ship and you left without a map. You are unprepared. How are you treating each and every day? Working as a sales professional, are you treating each and every day like you're the captain of your own body? Or are you rushing behind you and trying to catch up with everyone else that's really, you know, really, let's say, killing it at life or killing it in your profession that you're working in as a jewelry sales professional, or maybe it's your manager. Maybe you want to get a promotion. Maybe you're trying to get to that position, but maybe your manager's killing it and you're not. So let's start by making a commitment for you to become the captain of your own ship. Now, also as well, if you already are starting your day with a morning routine, please let me know down in the comments, comment down on this video, uh, scroll down and let me know what your morning routine contains. I'm always interested to hear people's routine routine, what they're doing each morning to be able to get yourself ready to be able to sell more jewelry. Uh, now let's get into it. Part number one of the morning routine is exercise. Of course, we're already talking about the fact that you're getting up 30 minutes earlier. So already make that commitment to yourself. I'm not going to cover that part here in detail, but start already with that 30 minutes earlier. Exercise, here we go. Yoga, meditation, walking, body weight exercise, or dance. 
Now, all of these parts, you can pick one, you can pick a few, you can put a few of them together if you like. It's whatever's gonna make you feel good. The reason why I recommend this as part of your morning routine to at least dedicate 10 minutes to be able to, doing some, to start doing some exercise is because of endorphins. Endorphins are hormones your body releases that makes you feel amazing. And if you feel amazing, that amazing feel that you have going on in your body, it's contagious, then other people will start to feel amazing. This will affect your co-workers, this will affect your family members in the morning as well. And most importantly, this will also affect your customers. And if you're feeling good, then how much easier is it going to be to ask your customers maybe a couple of those difficult questions that maybe you've kind of put off. Maybe you were not asking enough times to close the sale, for example, because you know, sometimes it does feel a little bit harsh. So by exercising in the morning, getting your body moving, getting the endorphins rushing through your system, and as little as 10 minutes is going to make a world of a difference. Now in this playlist, I am going to leave some additional videos that will give you some tips that are going to fit it within a 10 minute exercise time frame. Uh, in these videos that you'll see in the playlist, you'll see a yoga recommendation, you'll see a meditation recommendation, you'll see a body weight exercise recommendation, and even a dance recommendation, all of these fitting within that 10 minute time frame, so you have no excuse. Go into the playlist, pick one of those out and get started with this new morning routine starting from tomorrow. That was part number one. Part number two, a cold shower. Now, as I said before, you're probably thinking, what the f is this guy trying to tell me to do? I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a reason for it. Having a cold shower in the morning is like giving your body a shot of energy. And energy, again, it is contagious. If you feel good, you're not you know, struggling to keep your eyes open on the way to work in the morning, then this is gonna make a huge difference to each opportunity you have when people are walking into your store. Because the energy that you feel, a lot of people don't really have energy these days. Uh, you know, the lethargy is a common thing. You know, people are tired, people are sluggish, people are lethargic. So you having that extra spark of energy can really entice someone to feel something new and feel something different as well. And this all adds into your ability to be able to be present and there when customers are speaking to you. So you can listen more clearly as well and you can respond more clearly to your customer because you're awake, vibrant and there and you're not relying on the caffeine just of a coffee to be able to you know, give you that little kick you're maybe trying to get. And also think about this, if you can't make yourself do something uncomfortable for you, what do you think you're asking your customers to do? You know, uh, if you can't do something that might make you feel uncomfortable, what right do you have asking your customer to purchase from you a $30,000 ring? What about a $100,000 piece of jewelry? Right now, do you think it might be a little bit uncomfortable for your customer to say yes to something like that? Well, there, yeah, you are going to have that. Customers are going to feel uncomfortable doing that. So if you can't make yourself do something uncomfortable, what right do you have asking a customer to be able to purchase something that maybe you wouldn't even purchase yourself in your wildest dreams, but you know, you can't jump into a cold shower in the morning to make yourself feel a little bit uncomfortable. You know, get used to feeling that way because part of selling is part of asking what might commonly be thought of as some of these uncomfortable questions, but you feeling comfortable asking it. That's what really makes a big difference about this. So this is a way of getting yourself feeling uncomfortable. Now, some of the science behind it as well, because you're still probably thinking, man, this guy seems like a little bit of a nut job in this video that I'm watching. Now, follow through in the playlist that you're going to see this video a part of as well. I'm going to link some videos from the guy named the Iceman, Wim Hof. He's actually a Dutch professor. He is a little bit of a nut job. I don't want you to go to the same degree that he does when it comes into cold, uh, but there is some serious science behind this that's going to give you multiple benefits apart from you getting used to feeling a little bit more uncomfortable as well. So check out those videos in the playlist attached as well. Uh, and then let's go into step number three, reading or studying though as well. Uh, get yourself educated. Educate yourself on this industry that you're working in because things do change. People come to you with different questions. Uh, maybe for example, you don't know certain gemstones by the industry name, for example, uh, by the industry name or maybe the minerals name itself as well. Uh, like for example, let's say black calcedony. Black calcedony is 
the technical name uh, that's com that's well, the technical name for black onyx uh, because black chalcedony is actually commonly dyed and after black chalcedony is dyed it's quite commonly called throughout the majority of the world black onyx and black onyx is actually a different mineral or a different gemstone that does not look like what is commonly sold to be black onyx. So, you know, something as simple as that. Maybe you have a technical customer that comes in and asks you this. Do you know these kind of details? Make sure to skill yourself up with this. Uh, reading GIA articles as well. Uh, the GIA's website, I'll I'll link it as well down here in the description of the video too, so you can check it out. Uh, there's always free articles that are always put up by the GIA. The GIA are by far the world leaders when it comes into research uh, in the field of uh, in the field of gemology overall, uh, and keeping it up to date with industry standards as well. Make sure to check out their stuff. We're once again link down in the description as well. Uh, you have Audible, you have Kindle. Are you reading anything to improve your ability to be able to sell something? I'm going to link down in the description uh, a link through to Audible and a link through to Kindle as well so you can get started reading regularly even five to ten minutes a day if you don't like to read listen right if you don't like to read listen don't do Kindle do Audible start listening to information getting this into your mind imagine if you learn one technique that morning that saved you a sale that day now, if you were doing five, to, if you were doing only five minutes of this each and every day, that five minutes over seven, over seven days, over seven months, over a year, over seven years is going to make a huge difference for you compared to the others out there that aren't even practicing it because they're like, I don't have enough time to read. Even just start with five minutes, I and mean, then you'll be surprised. Maybe the five minutes becomes a little bit addictive, and that five minutes turns into ten minutes, and now you're not waking up thirty minutes earlier; you're waking up forty minutes earlier as well. So again, check out those links down in the description as well. Are you taking any courses possibly within your industry as well? Have you taken a course with the GIA? Have you taken a course with De Beers as well? Uh, I've developed a course as well because there's a lacking of information uh, when it comes into courses for you to be able to take within the diamond and gemstone jewelry industry or in the luxury goods industry itself. Uh, so check out the link for that down in the description. I've recorded just over 92 videos. So there's a lot of information in this going into details uh, when it comes into teaching teaching you how to sell different gemstones uh, that you might have within your jewelry store as well. Uh, and you know, the industry is forever changing, you know, stay relevant to the, uh, stay relevant to what it is. Uh, if you're not staying relevant, you're going to be left behind. And when you're left behind, this is when you stop selling things. You know, don't be daft enough to think you've reached a certain stage where you're like, I know how to sell everything within the diamond and gemstone industry. Because products that maybe you have in your store, maybe you know everything about those products, but do you know everything about your competitors' products as well? Do you know everything about the brands that your store does not sell? So when a customer comes in comparing, you can correctly inform them and not just make things up, to correctly inform them about the differences between both brands, between Levian and between a generic uh, brown or chocolate diamond brand as well. Like, you know, you need to know these kind of differences between the two uh, as well. And then we have part number four, which is going to be your goals. So how often do you write down your goals? Uh, you know, most people write down their goals one time a year when it comes into the New Year's resolution. And, you know, the writing down your goals on a daily basis will give you a reminder on your why. You know, why is it you're getting up in the morning? Why is it you're actually going to work? The more regular you write these things down, the more regular you're going to be reminding yourself about your why. And when you remind yourself about your why, your motivation to get up, to get going and to perform at your job and to be able to sell more jewelry to customers coming into your store is going to increase because you have so many more reasons why you want to convince the customer to say yes compared to the reasons why the customer has to say no. This is a big difference. Uh, and your goals change over time as well. Your goals that you set for the New Year's resolution might be different two months from now as well. Think about that. If your goals change, are you really tracking this or are you just thinking, oh, maybe it's the same as what I thought it was on January the 1st. So get started with doing this as well. It's really going to help to increase your motivation. Simply get a notebook, a cheap notebook, you know, spend less than a dollar on something like this. Get a pen and keep it by your bed uh, and keep it by your bed or keep it somewhere that's going to remind you to write these things down before you leave the house in the morning. That should only take you five minutes at most. After you've started writing them down the first time, the first time is going to be the longest time, then it's going to be a little bit shorter each time after. There's no, there's no specific limit. 
that you should write how many goals you want to achieve, but just get started doing it. Uh, now, this is part one. This is your morning routine. So part number two, we're going to be talking about your limiting beliefs. Your limiting beliefs are important because if you suffer from something called limiting beliefs, and most of us do, uh, your beliefs that you build, uh, your beliefs are like your building blocks. Imagine that your body is like a house. And if your body's like a house, you have a strong foundation or a weak foundation. You know, we could just skip past part number two. We could go into part number three and start talking about techniques. And when you get into work and you that opening sales and everything and you know building that beautiful piece of art that you have but your foundation is still weak you know I don't want you to turn into the leaning tower of Pisa your own leaning tower of Pisa by the end of these by the end of this course I want you to be a non-leaning tower of a non-leaning tower of Pisa I want you to be straight I want you to have that strong foundation and build all of these strong techniques that are going to help you become even more successful at selling jewelry uh, in the jewelry store that it is that you're working in as well so now make sure to check out the other videos I've told you to check out on this playlist before moving on to part number two as well and once again consider subscribing to the channel as well this way you'll be updated with all of the latest videos as well when it comes into the luxury goods industry and your ability to really make some influence and impact on people not just the customers coming into your store that you're selling to but even your co-workers and even the company that you're working in or working for now we'll catch you in the next video